Now tonight at five in just a few more days, the Indiana Fever will likely finally get another star player on the team. As we've said, the Fever they have the first overall pick in Monday's WNBA draft, and they are widely expected to draft Caitlin Clark. Fox 59's Eric Graves previews the excitement for the possible arrival of the superstar. It's called the Caitlin Clark effect. It has packed stadiums and had a part in drawing a bigger crown for the women's national championship game than the men's. Now superstar Caitlin Clark is poised to bring all that excitement, all that hype here to Cambridge Fieldhouse. Caitlin Clark has set the women's college basketball world on fire like never before. TV viewership at the Final Four was bigger for the women's final game than the men's final game. Come Monday, all signs point to Clark being the Indiana Fever's number one overall pick. You don't have to know anything about it to watch her play and just be dazzled. Clark's anticipated WNBA debut is already a hot ticket. StubHub reports overall sales for Fever tickets on Insight are 13 times what they were this time last year. Level of hype has not existed before. Michael Hicks, an economist at Ball State, looked into what economic impact the Caitlin Clark effect could have in Indy. Let's check the numbers. We estimated about 26,000 more fans. That translates into about $6 million coming into Indy because of Caitlin Clark. And Hicks says these are conservative estimates. And it wouldn't be su surprise me if it's double or triple that. The Caitlin Clark effect is already being felt in downtown Indy businesses. It's awesome. The, the city's buzzing. Brent Drescher, the general manager of the District Tap downtown, says they've had a full restaurant for Clark's games, not what they've had ever for women's basketball. Uh, a lot more excitement, a lot more engagement. Uh, crowds are really loving the games. The Caitlin Clark effect goes far beyond Indy, though. Hicks sees Clark lifting up the entire pro league. Sky's the limit in terms of the excitement around the WNBA. And Indianapolis gets to be at the center of it all. This is Peyton Manning luck for us. The Fever are having a watch party on draft night here. It'll start at Bicentennial Unity Plaza and then move inside to Cambridge Fieldhouse. They have already had 10,000 people claim tickets for that event. Reporting here in downtown, Eric Graves, CBS 4 News. Wow, CBS 4, by the way, we will be in New York City for the WNBA draft. Our sports team will travel to Brooklyn and bring us live reports leading up to the Fever's big pick.